present me as a eunuch to him. It may be work by me. In his play Twelfth Night, Shakespeare sets up the comedy of mistaken identities with the idea of twins, one a man, one a woman, who are separated during a shipwreck. But that's not enough for the bard. His Viola disguises herself as a man, allowing for extra confusion when her twin Sebastian shows up. My name's Jonathan McMillan. Uh, I'm playing Sebastian in Twelfth Night. And uh, yeah, so, so Sebastian is twins with, um, with Viola. I'm Cassandra Vassell and I'm playing Viola. But um, when they first mentioned there were like rules in Twelfth Night, I was like, okay, I, I know some of the rules, but like, surely I wouldn't be Sebastian. I don't know. I just why I, not? Well, because <laughs> I, I, I guess I, I now I'm gonna like start stuttering, but like I, I I guess I don't see myself as having really any qualities that are also in women. Oh, that's interesting. I have a brother who's almost six years younger than me, and you have a sister who's a couple years older. And but the twin thing is a new experience. Like I don't. Creating the experience of what it is to have another person who you really feel is half of yourself, and then also you what it is to lose that. Way. Exactly. And there's a line in the text about the womb yeah. that you make reference to the womb, which yeah. is supposed to be like kind of the moment when we really believe, oh, we've found each other again. Yeah. So the play starts with a shipwreck um, in which these two who are on the ship together get separated. And um, they land in a place called Illyria, which is an imaginary place, uh, where there lives a Duke Orsino and a Countess Olivia. And there is an unrequited love story there. The Duke is in love with Olivia. She is mourning the loss of a father and a brother and has said that she will accept the attentions of no men for seven years. So uh, Viola, landing after the shipwreck, decides to dress herself as a man and serve the Count. Uh, which ultimately entail, en, entails being his messenger uh, to Olivia, um, pleading for her love. And so Viola ends up getting caught in the middle of this, this sort of love triangle because Olivia then falls in love with Viola and much silliness ensues. And while she's busy getting to know, it seems like everybody in Illyria, I'm getting nursed back to health so that when I finally feel ready to do whatever it is I'm going to do, you know, go meet the Duke, um, restate my name, and I, 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 whatever it is, you know, you, one does after they kind of fall off the radar for three months. I walk into this town dealing with a lot of people who seem to know me and uh, maybe thinking that I've gone a bit crazy or something like that.